Want to learn how to crate train a puppy at night? Don't worry, in this video, I am going to break it down step by step, so stay tuned. For the best dog training and product advice, be sure to hit subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every Wednesday. And for those of you who don't know me, my name is Lisa. I've dog sat and trained hundreds and hundreds of dogs and puppies, and I love sharing my advice with all of you. Also, just a quick reminder that I now offer one-on-one -on -one virtual dog training sessions via Zoom video conferencing. So if you want to book one of those, you need a little bit more personalized help, you can click the link below to book, and right now it comes with a customized training plan as well. All right, so without further ado, let's get into how to crate train your puppy at night. All right, so I'm not gonna lie, you are probably not going to like step one, but step one is to purchase some earplugs. So unfortunately, the first few nights, there's no really getting around it. And I would say like 90% of puppies are going to cry at night while they acclimate to this new situation. You have to keep in mind that this is a whole new ball game for them. They just came home to your house. House. there's a lot of changes they're going to be a little bit I'm um, still getting used to your house so just keep in mind that there is a little bit of an adjustment period so like I said buy earplugs the worst thing you can do for crate training is to give in to the crying and let them out and just let them play or sleep in the bed unless you're gonna let them sleep in the bed for the rest of their life if they need to use the bathroom you'll probably notice that it's a cry to use the bathroom because they've been quiet all night and around maybe 1 or 2 a.m. they cry in that case you let them out to use the bathroom don't make it super fun they use the bathroom good boy good girl and then put them right back into their crate if after that you let them play then they're gonna learn that if they cry they get to get out of their crate and have fun not that we're against fun around here but not at 2 a.m. <laughs> just remember that if you let your pup out when they cry you've literally trained them that if you cry you get out of the crate and they're going to be relentless about it. During the day, it's really important that we're desensitizing them and conditioning them to really enjoy their crate. So step two is to always feed them in their crate with the door open at first. If every time we put them in their crate, they're stuck in there for a long time, they're going to create that association that the crate means no fun, I'm stuck in this cage. We really want them to think of the crate as their safe place, a very positive place. And especially since they do have to go in there at night, we wanna balance that out with a lot of fun during the day. So feeding them in their crate, giving them treats in their crate, giving them treats around their crate. We also don't want them to be scared of going in their crate, like we give them a treat and we're going to close the door right away so be sure sometimes the doors close and sometimes the doors open when they get treats in the crate make sure when you're throwing treats in there it's one of their favorite treats i know for me my dog's favorite treats are zewi peak they absolutely love zewi peak i'll link to it from my amazon store below but if your pup has a different favorite treat use that and let me know in the comments below what it is because i always love learning about treats that your puppies love step three is to give them puzzle toys snuffle mats kongs inside their crate. Now, a big caveat here is we don't want them to accidentally associate the Kong with the crate or the snuffle mat with the crate. So we don't want to always, always, always have it in the crate when we leave. So we want to give it to them maybe sometimes around the crate, sometimes not in the crate, sometimes in the crate, and sometimes in the crate when we leave. So whatever you can do to break that association of always, okay, Kong means that the door is closing and my human is leaving. Dogs are really fast learners. Dogs and puppies are really smart learners. So we just wanna make sure that we aren't accidentally teaching them that the Kong means that we are leaving and that they are going in the crate. I'll also link to my favorite Kong and snuffle mat in the link below. Step four is to teach a crate cue. Throw a treat in the crate with the door open. Once they're going in there regularly, start to add in the cue crate. So you'll say crate, they go into the crate and then you click and reward. If your pup doesn't want to go in the crate at all, a lot of these directions are for young puppies that have no former association with the crate. If your pup has already created that negative association with the crate, you're going to use a technique called shaping. So reward small approximations towards the final behavior.
stick for your puppy looking at the crate, getting close to the crate, and then eventually one foot in the crate, so on, until they're all the way in the crate. All right, that's it for today, everyone. Be sure to join my Possum Parents Facebook group if you want to join a community of pup parents just like you. And I'm also in there to help answer your questions. I also have an ultimate good dog blueprint if you want uh, my blueprint on how to train a well-behaved pup. I'll link to that below. All right, that's it for today, everyone. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.